Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I want to talk just a couple minutes here about spiral scroll saw blades. A question I get very often here on the blog is which are better, spirals or flat blades? And that's really not the question we need to answer because they're different tools and they're used for different types of projects. Both blades have their advantages and disadvantages and let's uh, take a quick look at both. If you look at the blade here on the left, you'll see that's a flat blade and it has teeth on the front of the blade. So to get that blade to cut, you push the wood into those teeth and it produces a fairly straight line. If you look at the blade on the right, you'll see that we have a series of helical teeth that wrap around the core of the blade. This allows this blade to cut in any direction that you push the wood. Okay, what you see on the screen here is a little mock-up of a scroll saw. In this case, the light gray will be the table of the scroll saw. Of course, this is the head and the arm and the hole in the table. On the left, we have a larger board, and on the right, we have a smaller board that we need to cut. If we have a flat blade in the scroll saw, we can take and put this board on the table, and we can spin this board around the blade with no problem at all. So as we push the blade into the board by pushing that direction. Once we get to the point where we need to rotate the board again, we can, we can rotate it this way and then push in to where we get to the next point. We can rotate the board. We can push in till we get to the next point we need to move. We can rotate the board push in till we get to the next point and you can see we can complete our cut that way and we can cut out our square. If the board gets much larger like it is on this one and we want to cut this board we're going to reach a point where if we get down here close to the edge of the board and we try to rotate this board we're going to hit the back head of the scroll saw and we're not going to be able to spin it. So with a spiral blade installed like we have now we can move this board, as you can see, in any direction because the blade cuts in any direction. So we could cut the entire perimeter of this piece out without ever running into the back head of the saw. Now that we've seen why we might want to use a spiral blade, let's take a look at the differences in the way they cut. On the top, the hole was cut with a spiral. On the bottom, a flat blade. Now we'll take a magnified look and this is a cut, that cut of the flat blade and you can see as we travel along the edge of the cut we have a relatively nice straight edge. Now I tried to stay right on the line with both blades and I turned the corner without using any tricks or anything. I just made the, made the turn so you can see even on the flat blade here I rounded out the turns a little bit. Coming back across the top you can see nice clean straight cuts. Now we'll take that same trip uh, with the cut made with a spiral blade and you can see that even though I tried to stay right on the line uh, I was not able to maintain the quality of that line nearly as well as I could with a flat blade. So this is the disadvantage of the spiral blade. Although we can cut in any direction it also causes us to more easily wander off of the line and we get a much poorer cut. Now there are tricks you can do to make this better, but I was just trying to follow the line. Here's an example of a picture where you can see the cut quality and you can see on the bottom there that the uh, cut quality is rougher than it is with the flat blade and this is pretty typical of the results you'll get. So back to the original question of which is better, the spiral blade or the flat blade, you can see it's really not a question of which is better, it's a question of which will get the cut done for you. Uh, in the case where you have a large board, you really don't have too many options other than to use the spiral blade. Now again, there are tips and things you can do to use the flat blade to make larger boards, but in general you need that spiral blade so you don't have to turn the board. So in closing here, I recommend that you learn to use both blades and when to use them and use them to their advantage. Now most of the time for most scroll saw patterns you do want to use a flat scroll saw blade. You just won't get the quality of cut with a spiral blade that you will with a flat blade. But in those instances where uh, you have a larger board, the spiral board might be your only option. And for a lot of portrait style patterns, the interior cuts you're making are rather organic. They're not squares or circles where you see the poor cut. 
you know, if you're cutting an organic shape like a leaf and you move off the line a little bit, nobody's ever going to notice. So in that case, you can easily cut that pattern with a spiral blade and it'll look just fine. Uh, but if you're cutting out pieces like a, a, a toy wheel or something like that, you absolutely do not want to use a spiral blade to cut that out. You want to use a flat blade just to get the cleaner cut. Okay, I'm Steve Good. I hope that helped you out just a little bit. We'll catch you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.